In this ProCare training video, we're going to look at the deposit accounts and the system configuration. In this video, we'll show you how to use deposit accounts, what error message you may see in a new ProCare database, and how to create a new deposit account. So when a business posts a payment to a family ledger, that payment is placed in the 900 undeposited account. To move that payment into a ProCare checking account, from Family Data, they would go to Functions, Family Accounting, Deposit Reports. So if I click View, you'll notice I'm getting an error message. If you read this error message, this is what it's telling you to do. So let's click OK. Let's cancel, let's exit, and we're gonna to go to ProCare Home, go to Configuration, go to System, we're gonna click on Accounting Management, we're gonna click on Family Accounting, and we're gonna double click on Deposit Accounts. So in this screen, you notice I can't click on anything, I can't change anything. The only thing I can do is make one of my bank accounts active. So if I put a check mark there and then go back to my family data and accounting, go to functions, family accounting, deposit reports. And if I click view, these are the payments that are sitting in the 900 undeposited waiting to be moved into the ProCare checking account. So I could put check marks in all these boxes and you'll notice it's calculating all these payment by checks that I've received. So if I check these off, you'll see it's calculating here, but it's also calculating here. So my next steps are to choose my deposit account or my checking account. And you'll notice it automatically drops this number in here so I can click this. These are green, so I can close this report. But what most businesses will want to do is they'll want to uncheck these. And then what they'll want to do is check off the items they take to the bank. So let's say I take these checks and I take this cash to the bank. You'll see now these two items are red, so I can't close this report. So I have to change this so it matches the top number. Now it's green. I can close this report, but what I want to do is change this post date, which always defaults to the date on the computer, change it to the date that I took these items to the bank. And now I can close my report. So you'll see in my history, I have two reports. These items, they were posted on the family ledger on February 3rd. They were taken to the bank on February 15th. Same with these items, they were taken to the bank on the 15th of February, but maybe that number or that post date is incorrect. So what I can do is click down here and change it to the correct date that I took it to the bank which would be February 18th. And then I can just close this report again. So what if a business has a second checking account or they have a second school that they would like to separate their payments into different checking accounts? So what we need to do is go into our configuration, go into system, open up accounting management. If I double click on bank accounts, I can look at my assets to see if I have another checking account I would like to use. If not, I need to go to my chart of accounts and on my assets tab, I'm gonna click or open up current liabilities and I need to create a new or unique account number and account name. So after I type in a unique account number and a unique account name, I click save drops it to the bottom of the list. I can use these arrows to move it up if I want to keep it in numerical order. 1002, 1003, click Save. Now I go to my 
bank accounts. I click up here to see my assets. I choose my new checking account. I can make it a checkbook by putting the check mark there. Save and exit. Now, if I open up family accounting, go to my deposit accounts, and now have a second deposit or checking account I can make active. So if I want to use this second checking account in this school, I can put a check mark to make it active. But if I have another school, and you'll notice this icon looks like a house, that means that it's only specific to this school that I'm currently in, FA school number four. If I click change schools, and I want to make it or put it in FD school number three, I would choose select. Now you see up here, I'm in FD school number three. So I double click on deposit accounts and I can make this active in this school. If I click change schools, go back to this school, click deposit accounts, and you'll see it's not active here. Only primary accounts is active in this school.